Hello everyone, this is Crying Chain, part of the Long River theme, with our good friend, Peter. Hello everybody! Uh, as you saw last episode, we were working on the furnaces. We're just about done at this point. We just need to do a whole bunch of wiring. Yeah, well the first wiring one's wiring. entirely wrapped, right? Yeah, the first one's done. Well, we obviously don't have enough uh, iron coming in. So that's the first thing. We also need more coal coming in at some point as well, because it's running entirely off of four. And with, with all these are on line, it'll definitely might cap it out, so... Oh, easily. Why don't we turn you on? Hey, Peter, come here. One second. There uh, was two. Do we insert, insert a shot? Oh, actually, do we insert a... And done. Ah! Auto save. Hey, why are you auto save? Look at this one. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that worked well. <laughs> <laughs> there we Working go. real hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one token unit in there. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, jump some copper. Oh, we got enough. What's that? Copper. Do you, have, do you have enough on you? Uh, yeah, I got 300. I got, I got 400. So I want to see if you wanted some just in case. Right, let's craft up. The usage between iron and copper is like massive difference. It is, but you know, how much you add on you, so. Yeah. Convey belts. In the near future, I'll be caught carrying very, very little copper, to be honest. It is one of the things where you go, <coughs> oh, you don't use that much copper, don't keep much on me, so it's the only thing you need and you don't have any on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on the, you're going to check your um, turret coverage now on your, on your map. Oh, right, I can take that uh, map. Turret coverage. Oh no, that's a really, like, saturated red. I can see that easily. Ah, that's okay then, good. It's, like, really saturated. Ooh. I think that's all this iron. Like, if you, uh, scroll all the way in to the map, you can actually see the map itself. Oh yeah, if you get, uh, I have to change it. Yeah, because if you notice it, when you go out of our visual range, it goes back to the old map. Yeah. If you put radar dishes yeah. down, you can actually see stuff. And you can actually, if you look, you can actually interact with stuff, like power cables. You can see what's on them and what's inside things. So it's a great way to take a look at your uh, your power supply and make sure you've got enough coal still without to run back. Just drop a radar dish near it. Oh, wait, so we can... So if you drop a radar by the power oh. supply, then you'll be able to use the map to scroll into the power supply and see how much coal was left by oh, the power generator. Awesome. I didn't even notice that. We're gonna look at the turret and see how much ammo they have. Yep, yeah, we're about to run over to check them all oh, every time. Oh, that's cool. All you gotta do is make sure you have a turret nearby, and you're good. You mean radar? No, that as well. Why do I always end up with two shorter than I need? I don't know. That always happens to me too. It's just like a factorial thing. Yeah, but it's always it's always one or two. It's never like you're fifteen short. <laughs> yeah. It's never it's always like the minimal amount that you could have what well, that you could be missing and need. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's get these guys plumbed in the right direction with it. Helpful. So that. Wasn't high enough for that. Okay. And then. Damn it. Two convey belts. Shot as well. <laughs> Get every single. And. Power's out by the quick. Yeah, I broke it. Oh, okay. I thought we'd just run out of pack call again. <laughs> nope, I broke it. <coughs> it's my doing. <laughs> oh, where are you? Let's be working the iron setup, and that's right the line for everything else. Okay, I'll leave it Excellent. Go. Um, yeah. And. Those. Hey! I wasn't actually missing any that time around. Ah, moving. 
No, just from now on, I'll take that little piece of your whistling, and then or I'll take that as my uh, my missile firing for other <laughs> games. <laughs> right, this one just needs its uh, iron supply. All right. We can do this for now until we get everything else set up. <coughs> oh god, I need some more uh, iron. Yoink! Yeah, they underdo me. There we go. Smelt of a two. Alright, so get underground can go there. I just need another one underground and three splitters. Crafting! <laughs> Random noises and half songs are a common part of this channel. You'll, uh, get, you'll learn to look them. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Peter's crafting dance. It's the... I'm waiting for something to happen, so I'm just going to make random noises now, and it ends up in, being musical. <laughs> Well, I call it music anyway. Most people just call it, please shut up and stop doing that noise again. It's in my ears. <laughs> my parents refer to it, would you ever shut up? That's what they usually say to me anyway. I think your answer's always no. <laughs> See, that's the funny thing when it comes to kids. It's like, uh... It's far more worrying when the kids stop making noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When they're quiet, they're doing something. Exactly. <laughs> they're plotting. <laughs> and... Just need a splitter. A two-year-old, and it's actually kind of funny. She's like, uh, she's relatively shy. So when she's around people, she doesn't know. She like doesn't say anything. or doesn't talk at all. Hmm. And she's only really active when she's around her cousins. It's like she's pretty silent herself, but when it comes to her cousin, that's when she gets like rowdy. <laughs> right. Okay. So now you know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, she's, um, she's only two, so she can't read yet, but she likes people reading to her. Yeah. So, a lot of times, all she wants to do is just grab a random book, sit next to you, and have you read to her. That takes one. So yeah. So it's, uh, it's, well, as a parent, it's good, because, you know, she likes reading even if she can't read yet. Um, but you know she will. If she likes being read too, she'll enjoy be reading herself. Exactly. So Alright, we have all that. three furnaces are operational. Apart from three furnaces themselves are missing. Yeah. I am crafting now. Boop, boop, boop. 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 They changed how much the output? <laughs> I think the max output was 900. Uh, now we're in low power. Yeah, I was looking at that. That's what I was checking. That's what I was looking at. I was like, we're running low. Alright, two steam engines, a boiler. I'll go do them. Right. <coughs> and for ease or everything else, a radar <laughs> dish. Well, now that we've moved all the way over here, everything that we built originally is so far away. The other thing is that everything we built over there is out of the way of the way. We could have rebuilt over here because it's water. There's yeah. copper, there's stone. The only thing that's not over there is coal. It's coal in the south, that's about it. Yeah, it's quite far away from where we built. I might get this uh, power plant uh, wired into the coal network so it doesn't have to have manually run all the time. For now, it looks like our coal is doing fine. <laughs> and just as I arrive, the uh, steam engine runs out of coal. Of course. Perfect works. timing, because if it had been any longer, you'd actually run out of power. 
I put you there. Put you there. Put you there. Yep, there's power. <laughs> I just saw it go out. Yeah, I took the power cable out temporarily. Needed to fit something else in the gap. Damn it, gun! Oh, I thought it went out because the light in the wrong place. Power completely. Right, the boiler there. Oh, all right now. Okay. Put a pipe. Need a pipe. Pipe, 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 pipe. To connect it. Two steam engines and a fuel supply would be useful. Right. The funniest thing about this is, I can watch you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to drop a, uh, a radar down here, so we have yeah. constant access to visuals on these. That's a bad place for the radar. I'm going to put the radar dish there, so we can constantly see this area. So the cool thing about this is like I can watch this, so like when you're talking about the things you're doing, I can literally watch you so that um, people looking at mine can actually see what you're doing too. Give it some bullets, so that's at least protected a little bit there. Okay, so we have radar dish. We so we can when I leave the area, you can still see. And I'm going to craft up a whole bunch of convey belts and get the convey belts running this way from the uh, coal mines as well. Okay. So now I've walked away, you should still be able to see the coal on the radar. Get more of these down. Okay, let's get you moving. Let's go back to the other side. Get convey bus moving. Can we get some research up and running as well while I'm out this way? Yeah, that thing. What would you prefer on the list? Um, steel. Need 50 bed. Can you craft some? Because uh, it's going to take me way too long to craft 50. Yes. I'm actually currently crafting. Um, what are they called? The other thing is. And. Damn it! That's an old one. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Right, so get some coal over here. Just for the power plant. Don't bear me. What? The the game trying to put them out of my range. Do it. Eh. Uh. <laughs> Told you I've talked to the game. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Power. Copper. That's it. Oh, that don't look good. Oh, that's not good. You alright? Uh, power shortage. Okay. I thought the drill's going really slow. I'm gonna put the, uh,. As soon as I put that in, so I'm guessing that boiler ran out. Yeah, that boiler ran out. Oh, one box full. One box of iron full. Okay. Let's take out some iron from that. Wow, did we actually just use up. Yeah, we did. Use up what? Two full steam engine arrays are at full power and they're not even meeting demand. So I need two, three, four. I mean, I am. Two. How many of these do I have? We have uh, uh, 39 mining drills right now. So there's that. <laughs> right, I probably need another gun turret over this way um, because I'm going to the power grid is about to get bigger. <laughs> basically. <Okay. laughs> Right, and it's these redesigning in a better way now as well because it's getting to the point where it's going to grow. <coughs> so. Take the turret out, move the turret to the north, where you can defend the north of the power plant. Mm 
but then there's nothing to bend the south of the power plant. So if the batteries come from the south, they, they'll get to the radar dish. Right, I'm just going to sever the power cables a second, because these are badly placed and need to be moved. One second, I'm just setting up stuff for the uh, copper. Making a new blueprint. Now, what I would like to do is have this. Be able to read because right now I have to destroy the blueprint, create a new blueprint every time I want to like have a blank blueprint. Yeah, I'd like to have it where I could just click to make it a blank. I haven't actually played the blueprints in the uh, in 15, so I don't know how they uh, change them. I mean, it's all right, it's not like it's an inconvenience, it's not like a really detrimental. Steam engines. Can I make more of oh, those? More. I can make a boiler. I need a lot more steel to make the extra uh, steam engine. Ah, no, wrong place. Go there. I need to add uh, <coughs> Oh, they actually had all the barrels now. Yeah, yeah, the barrel for pretty much everything now. Oh, and also okay. the um, fluid wagon for the train is, is amazing. The fluid wagon for the train, one train can fill, I think it's either six or eight um, oil silos. Oh, cool. So one train is uh, OP, basically, which is very, very nice to have. <laughs> Works in. Okay, let's get power cables running. That's not power cables, that's a blueprint. Let's get power cables running. Get those guys, and we need the insert rams, and hopefully this will bring power up to a uh, a sustainable level. Let's need a couple of pipes to link them. Beep. Beep. There we go. Hopefully power should be uh, coming online to a satisfactory right. level. Yes, we are actually meeting demand now. See, my, my play of the game, I was trying to figure out a good way of doing the grid, and I guess that's the best way of doing it, huh? Right, if you just, from the radar, can you see how fast they're burning through the coal? Yeah. That's the... No, uh, I can't see how fast they're burning. I can just see that... I can see when one disappears, and then they put a new one in each time. Oh, okay, I'm not sure if you could see the actual uh, speed. No, you can't click on them to see the... Well, that's what, the speed of the building for that right now is at uh, about a third demand. Okay. Um... Right, I'm heading back to get some iron, because I can't build anything else without iron now. The other day, somebody had posted on one of my uh, videos. He was like, uh, I saw your name pop up in one of the uh, pump drills. The pump jacks. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, I know it's there. Got it. Oh, I understand. There we go. I also like the fact that the uh, the upgraded uh, underground belts are further. Yes, that became very useful for me in my live stream where I suddenly thought I'm gonna have to dismantle the part of the uh, bus to get across it. And then mm -hmm. red belts made it clear. So, yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, let's grab I mean, some plates. Makes sense. We're gonna upgrade a belt and upgrade all the aspects of it. Well, if they're going faster, it makes sense they can get out the other side, so yeah, definitely agree with that one. So I put four on either side. Yeah. Four of the side, yeah. That's what I've done so far. I 
Seems iron is about keeping up with what we have. Yeah. Iron's just by keeping up with the iron making it to the far end, so there's they're keeping yeah. it quite happy. <clears throat> that probably changed massively when we move up the other end up. <laughs> yep. That it shall. Because right now we're not actually making anything, we're just storing it. Let's just crack this open. Which I know we'll have complaints on that too. Yes, especially the fact that we're the way we do we're throwing in individual chests rather than even combining it into one place <coughs> will get mm -hmm. us complaints. But it's yep. an early part of the build, so we'll get complaints about that. We'll get complaints about it not immediately going into some sort of build. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing that? Taking the iron across there. Copper. I assume you were that going across, did you? No, this is copper. Oh, it's copper, sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the copper right here up, bring it up. Ah, the iron zone continue to the right. Uh, we are uh, researching steel, we are out of actual things to make yeah, steel with. I think it might be a point if we start making the uh, actual bus. Well, actually, at the very least, get um, ammunition production and uh, red science production automated. Even if, it's, yeah. even if it's just into a chest short term. Yeah, I'm just uh, going to set up the rest of the copper. Like this one. I want to have at least one of these running. Yes. The copper. And then right, after that, so. I'm start doing those things. I can definitely get a very quick red science operational just as a as a dirty one, just document it while we're not uh, too busy. Before we get proper buildings earlier. <laughs> oh, they're attacking. Turrets did their job. Which turret did they attack from so I know which way they came from? I didn't even notice they attacked. I saw it appear on the yeah, radar. Was... Okay, there they came from there. Out, I didn't even know they attacked. <laughs> oh, there it is. I see it. Come on, I see him on the radar, but I don't want to... There we go. I'm on the radar now. I don't see bodies. Should I attack over here? I don't see any yeah, bodies here. It's not turret. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there they are. You see them on the, on the map, which I see them now. There's some in the north and there's some in the south. Well, it's, I mean, it's all the west side. So. Well, on the east side is a big blob of a, of a base there, right a base. Oh, that one's in. I just explored it on the map. Okay. Uh, I am. I'm such a big. But I am desperately in need of more guns and ammunition. So, let's get that up and running, shall we? Yeah, let's get the. Uh... Automation going. You need the base stuff. I'm gonna go like my way to get some stone. Okay. Let's, like finish the uh, forge. Your hands so glowy. <laughs> right. So uh, I need to get. What do we need for red science? Just to get it up and running. Gears and copper plates. Okay, that's not a problem. We can just for now for a very short build, get it up and running with uh, a chest to run it all. And then we can properly automate it soon. Got to this glass, I don't feel like walking back. Uh, need the boxes. There. Just nice. Oh, you know what? Let me box go. Box, box, box. I think my roommate just came on. Right, so. Around the kitchen. What's that? So I think my roommate just came home because I can hear pots moving around. Ah, okay. <laughs> so if you hear pot banging around, it's because he's being really loud in the kitchen. That one because I didn't anticipate it. Du, 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 du. You make them. This is just temporary build. Get, at least get some automating because it's painful. Yeah. It's like you just broke something. <laughs> <laughs> Power cable. Oh, just missed it, but I won't need it to be as well.
Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to get notifications, make sure to hit that bell. You can also check out our website for more information on different games. If you would like to support us, check out our Patreon page for more information on how to do so.